What's not to love about pakoras? These crispy, savory two-bite fritters are so easy to eat and they're infinitely customizable. And Keith is here and he's gonna show us some keys to pakora success. Yeah, these vegetable fritters are great. They're crunchy on the outside, soft and tender on the inside. And like you said, they're customizable. So you can use virtually any type of vegetable to suit your taste or what you might have in the refrigerator. Love it. So I'm gonna start with one large red onion. It's been halved and I'm gonna slice these. You wanna use an allium, so shallots are good, white onions are fine. Now, we wanna make sure that we're using the proper ratio of vegetables to batter. So I'm gonna actually measure these out. I'm looking for a cup and a half of onions. It's about five ounces if you wanna use a scale. All right. So that's one cup. And here is our half cup. So our next vegetable is a large russet potato. So I'm just gonna shred these on a box grater. I like potatoes in here, but you can use other dense vegetables here. Carrots, butternut squash. Mm. Okay, one and a half cups of potato. Now we have one ounce of baby spinach here, like the greens, mm -hmm. like the color it adds, a little bit of freshness. Just kind of a rough chop. But again, you can customize the greens that you're adding here. Kale, Swiss chard, arugula, all good options. And that goes in our bowl. Now for the heat, I have one serrano chili here. It's gonna add a nice, fresh, grassy heat, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. So I just half this, and then I'm gonna leave the seeds in. Yes. I want this to be spicy. It should be spicy. It should be spicy. So half it, and then I'll just kind of across like this into thin strips. And then again, turn 90 degrees, and then just run across this to a nice fine mince. Lovely. Okay, that is our chili. Now to spice these. Okay. So I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of ashvine seed. So this is often in fried foods in India. It aids with digestion. Um, it has a kind of a woodsy, mm. kind of thyme-like flavor. It's very nice. A quarter teaspoon of fenugreek, a half teaspoon of table salt, and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili. So now, for the fun part. I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna mix this with my hands. And I'm gonna to start to break down these vegetables. We wanna tenderize these vegetables just a little bit before we start to mix in the other batter ingredients. So we're gonna do this for about 45 seconds. And really what I'm looking for is to kind of break down those onions, break down the mm -hmm. spinach, and you'll start to see some liquid form in the bottom of the bowl. And I can actually hear it. It sounds moister than it yeah, was earlier. I can see it. <laughs> Okay, so I think that is good. So I'm just gonna wash my hands really quickly and then we can finish up this batter. Sounds great. Now we have our vegetables, they're ready to go and we can finish up making the batter. All right. So I have three quarters cup of basan flour here. So this is made from ground brown chickpeas that have been peeled and split. You can use white chickpea flour in here, but you have to change the recipe a little bit. And you can find that on our website, how to make that change. So three quarters cup of basan flour, and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder to this. I also have a half teaspoon of turmeric. So I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk to make sure that everything is mixed in there. Now I'll take this and I'll sprinkle it over our vegetables. I'm just gonna start to mix this in here. And what I want is that water from the vegetables to start to absorb and hydrate that flour. That's good. Now, one final addition. All I have here is a quarter cup of water and that will finish the batter. Make sure that I scrape the bowl, bottom of the bowl to get all that flour off the bottom. Okay, our fritter batter is all set, ready to go. So we're just gonna let this rest and that base on flour is gonna absorb some of that liquid. Okay. While that happens, we're gonna heat our oil and then we can get to frying. Yay. Take our recipes and reviews wherever you go with the America's Test Kitchen mobile app. Fail-proof recipes, unbiased equipment reviews, how-to videos, and a vibrant community of like-minded home cooks. With smart searching and handy tools, you'll have everything you need to create the most amazing meals. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We've been heating our oil over medium-low heat. I have two quarts of vegetable oil in this Dutch oven. And what we're looking for is a temperature of 370 to 380 degrees, somewhere in there. 
we want a fairly high temperature because we want to fry these really, really quickly. Okay. So they just take one and a half, two minutes to cook. So very, very fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a tablespoon measure and another spoon in my hand. So I'll load some in, use my second spoon to kind of tidy up the edges and just slide them right in. Mm. Oh, that's a good sound. So I'm just going to continue to take heaping tablespoons of this batter and then plop them in the oil like that. Now I'm, see that I'm stirring the batter after every time that I take some of the fritter batter out to make sure that I have a good distribution. Okay, so I'm gonna fry these five at a time. This is really quick, one and a half to two minutes. Oh, That's all it takes. Really quick. And it's gonna be deep golden brown and you can go in with a spider skimmer and kind of move them around to make sure that they're evenly cooking. It's been two minutes and these are looking Ooh. mighty fine. Yes. Nice deep dark golden brown. Oh. Okay, and also before I put the next batch in, I want to get any just little random pieces here so those don't get too dark and burn because they'll attach themselves to the second batch right. and you don't want that. So no. I'll just put those over to the side. Now for our second batch, I want to make sure that the oil temperature gets back up to 375 before we start our second right. batch, but it's great. So I will just take this and again, it's stirring, spooning and dropping. I'm going to continue to fry these five fritters at a time. In the earlier batches, I'm going to keep warm in a 200 degree oven. Okay. Fritters are fried and now it is time to eat. Yes. Look at these beautiful fritters. So I love oh. the lacy texture of these, those little kind of fingers that are off the sides. Right. Those are going to be the little crispy, crunchy bits. Now, I also have a carrot and tamarind chutney here. The pakoras are hot and spicy. Mm. You want something here to kind of cool it down, provide a little bit of a contrast. Lovely. So let's try these. All right. I mean, look at that. It's great. Those are heavenly. Those crispy fingers on the outside add a lot of crunch. So light. Yeah, it is so light. Absolutely. That's light. the baking powder doing its job. Now with the chutney. Mm, yes. Yes, must try again. Mm. Mm. The spices in the background, nothing overwhelming. No, these are spectacular. Mm. Nothing short of the best. Thanks, Keith. You're welcome. Well, you've got to make these pakoras at home. Select and measure out categories of vegetables for the proper ratio. Massage the vegetables with spices to release their liquid. And stir in basin flour to make a thickened batter. Fry them in batches and don't forget to serve with an amazing chutney. So from America's Test Kitchen, the ultimately customizable pakoras. You can get this recipe and all the recipes from this season along with select episodes and product reviews. Those are all on our website, americastestkitchen.com slash TV. Still crispy. We think cauliflower for the next Ooh, batch? Oh yeah, let's go with that and shallots. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.